Alright, which Mama? fish do you like? No, you have to open it. You want me to open that? Yeah. Okay. Now, tell me what fish you want. Oh, K boxes together. Yeah. Alright. I like this one. Yeah. You like that one? Which one's your favorite? This fish. That fish? Are you sure? Well, I like two of them. You like two of them? All right. You have to, you have to put this like that and you have to pull it down and pull it up. Pull it up? Okay. Yeah, all right. Say hi, Aiden. Hi. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe for more videos for pictures. Yeah. And then you can join us later at of this picture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. It's time for a crime tale better fry update. Just something really quick. I shot some video earlier in the week. And I'm going to be adding it to this video. So you guys can take a look at them eating some brine shrimp and some fish flakes. It's most of them are eating it now. I still have 10 fry. My plants. I have to get down on my knees real quick. My plants, they used to be right here on the heater, now floating, and I'm just going to leave them like that for now, because I did a water change yesterday, so I kept trying to put them back, and they just kept floating up here, so I guess it was just meant to be. And I want to thank everybody who helped me out when I had questions about my plants. I really appreciate that. And I'm the type of person that likes to keep touching stuff, and especially when I think something's wrong. So, all in all, I think my plants are doing fine. I mean, if I can grow algae, this much algae, I can pretty much grow anything in here, so. I'm planning on adding some substrate to their tank. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep them in the 10 gallon tank. I'm going to upgrade them to a bigger tank than this. I just have to find the time to do all of that. And in that tank I'll add substrate and I'll add the water with stereo to it. Hopefully by then they'll be a little bit bigger than this. And that'll be their official grow-out tank. Just for now, they're going to stay in the 10-gallon tank. Because I have a lot to do in order to upgrade them. But everybody's doing well. I did notice one of the smaller fry has its caudal fin bitten pretty badly. Like, a good chunk of it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, it's going to be this guy right here just above my finger now. It's really hard to see on camera because their fins are still not colored up. But this guy seems to be doing fine, I guess. No issues swimming, but I mean... His caudal fin is really got a big chunk taken out of it. Uh, <coughs> camera skills. But anyway, I think it'll be okay. I just, every time I do a water change, I medicate them. So any injuries like that should heal up pretty good. Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up in just a minute. I just wanted to show you guys my little drip system that I got going on. This is a one gallon, used to be punch, 
jug. What I did is I super glued a small piece of airline tubing with, to a little hole at the bottom and added a control air valve right here to control how much water I want to drip inside the tank. That's just basically how I fill the aquarium. And that's so the fish can acclimate to the new temperature and uh, whatever meds I got in there. And it's a lot better than trying to catch 10 little itty bitty fry and putting them in a jar. And It's quicker to refill the aquarium that way if you put them all in a jar or something, but it's really hard on the fish, so... This method's much better and it's easier if I gotta walk away from the tank. The tank's still getting filled, so that's a neat little thing I came up with. So that's it for this update. We'll see what happens next week.